New techniques of today, we're going to talk about symmetrical grip. So let's go ahead and read the question. I noticed you grip the gun very symmetrically and seem to get stability from squeezing all around the grip. I put my dominant hand wrist more behind the gun. I think he means this. And hook the trigger guard with my support index finger. This, maybe? This is what he's talking about. Hook the trigger guard. All right, something like that. As I understand it, I've defaulted to an old school 80s type grip and foregone the modern style for some reason. I wonder if my technique has fallen out of favor because it prohibits the use of a weapon light or is there some other aspect I'm overlooking? Well, let me give you my view on it and you can kind of decide for yourself. So um, I'm not trying to, like with the pistol, I'm not trying to mitigate the amount of recoil that there is or stop the gun from recoiling or anything like that. Instead, I just want to connect to it, like get my hands on the gun and then have the gun recoil very predictably. It isn't, again, if the, the sight moves up and down like this, that's fine as long as it does that predictably. If it goes up a little higher and back down, like again, not a big deal. I'm not trying to, like I said, mitigate the recoil. I just want it to be very predictable and consistent. Now, if I focus on um, putting the pressure into the gun that I do put in, put that in very, very predictably and in a sense symmetrically, um, I think it makes it easier to get a good outcome. So let me show you what I mean. Back here, you can see my uh, like the top-down view of my grip. You can see the of the gun, not putting any pressure on the gun, like why people do this, like push into the frame of the gun, or they might hook their fingers on the trigger guard or something like that. Again, the, the thinking there is they want to get as much pressure as possible onto the gun, thinking that that's going to help them. And what I've like the opinion I have and what I've really discovered through a lot of testing is the more tension and pressure that I'm using, the more difficult it is to do that stuff consistently. So if I just have less pressure, less contact with the gun, like less of that stuff, um, what I'm doing is going to be easier to be consistent, right? Duh, it's like I'm doing less, it's easier to do it consistently. So that's the kind of philosophy that I have where I'm not like, hooking my fingers around and trying to do a bunch of I just want the gun to sit in my hands, I'll connect my support hand to it so that the gun's going to go up and down and recoil and just do the same thing every time. And I keep my hands on it the same way so the gun tracks right back to the center. Um, I need to do a more complex sort of uh, grip concept, in my opinion, doesn't really help. It's just going to make stuff harder. Anyway, that's my opinion. I'm curious about yours. Put your questions and comments down below.